I've been explaining the assumptions about the data that we can only test once we have our raw data. And you may have wondered, what should we do if those assumptions are violated? Let's say we run a kolmogorov smirnov test on our dependent variable and determine that the assumption of normality has been violated. Our data are different than normal. What should we do? I've got good news for you, and that is that parametric statistics, like a t-test or an ANOVA, are robust. And that means we can still use parametric tests and still get accurate results, even if the assumptions have been violated. Or, should I say, if an assumption has been violated. That's the secret to understanding robustness of tests. The tests are robust to the violation of one assumption, but not multiple assumptions. Let me explain. Parametric statistics are robust. Even if the dependent variable data are not normally distributed, we can still use inferential procedures. It will be very helpful if the sample sizes for our groups are equal. And if we have a large overall sample size, that will help even more. However, we must beware multiple violations. If your dependent variable is not normally distributed, and the sample sizes of your groups are not equal, or you have other violations in your data, then you're going to need an alternative. You cannot use a parametric test. Well, I've got good news. There are alternatives to parametric tests, and those are called non-parametric tests. A non-parametric test is used when the assumptions on a parametric test have been too badly violated to use parametric statistics. Non-parametric tests work because they do not require the stringent assumptions about the population that parametric tests do. Non-parametrics can be used with nominal or ordinal data, and they can be used with skewed population. However, all of this flexibility comes at a cost, and that cost is that non-parametric tests are less powerful than parametric tests. And that means you're more likely to make a type 2 error. You're likely to miss an effect that is truly there. Therefore, what we want to do is use good sampling methods to make sure we get the best sample that we possibly can so that we can use parametric statistics for our hypothesis testing.